Yes. Yes, I understand completely. We'll absolutely be able to help you out with that. I guarantee you. Oh, you must be talking about Yagami. Absolutely. We appreciate any interest you might have. But it's just, uh... Must be so nice to be a rock star. Right, Salary Chan? Gendala, sorry speaking. Yes, Yagami is currently employed by our firm. Same bullshit all day. Guess everyone wants a lawyer who can win, huh? Yagami Sensei? Hey, throw me a bone. I never would have won without a hand from these two. Of course you wouldn't have. 99% of these cases end up in convictions. It makes an acquittal a big deal, even if it was just luck. Talk about a lawyer being a hero. Makes even a former gangster look good. <laughs> I guess so. Wipe that grin off your face. You think you're better than us? I'm no saint. Could have fooled me. You know, you're not gonna win all of them. Trust me, pal. My record's not. Are you listening? Of course. I get the message. Hmm. Well, Shintani's available right now. Yeah, you bet. He's more experienced. Are you hearing that? No, no. Now I'm getting I, tossed uh, your goddamn leftovers. You like he does <sighs> Shut up, man. Okay, and you're sure? He's as skilled as they come, trust me. But well, that no. just can't be right. He hasn't won any cases. You know how rare that is? <sighs> Haven't you heard 99.9% .9 of criminal court cases end with the defendant behind bars? Pretty ridiculous, huh? right? What? Well, you still want Yagami, though. Man, I am so done. Hey! Can it? Yes. Yes. And you're absolutely sure. I understand. I'll tell him. Who was that? Another call for Yagami Sensei. Big whoop. But the client is Shinpei Okubo. Mm. Huh? Not sure I believe that. Ogobo's a free man now. Not anymore. He's been arrested for murder. Come on. We already proved he was innocent, right? It's a new case. He's being processed right now. What they told me is that... He stabbed his girlfriend Emmy to death. Set the apartment on fire. Ogobo would never do that! John. I just don't understand it. Okubo. How could he? My career as a lawyer died alongside Emi-chan. Both murdered 
by Shinpei Okubo. Come in, Kaito-san. Are you getting close yet? Yep. Right by the Don Quixote. Heading your way now. You just about see our man? Yep, I got him. He doesn't have a clue, huh? Ah, you're getting good at this. Almost like a pro. Wow, thanks. I always dreamed of being a professional stalker. I'm not sure I'd call it that. You gotta admit, this is crazy, though. A detective tailing another detective? You only see that shit on TV. Crazy or not, stay focused. Right, I'll join up with you soon. Okay. <laughs> Step aside, old man. Piece of goddamn <laughs> trash. Hey, asshole, he said move! Huh? The fuck are you doing? What? Do you want to die, bitch? The hell is his problem? <sighs> What's going on back there, buddy? Uh, looks like I need to teach these punks a little lesson. Need to? Didn't you tell me to keep my head down? Hey, who you call punks, you homeless piece of shit? Huh? <laughs> Sorry, Kaito. I'll see you soon, okay? <sighs> so much for being careful. <laughs> Get a load of him! Man, you seeing this shit? <laughs> okay, my boy's a movie star. Oh, what? Oh! How's that? <laughs> <laughs> You're a damn joke. Now let's do this thing!
I'm all done. Kaito-san, where's our guy going? On his way towards Pink Street. Crowd's thinning out. Get your ass over here. Got it. And make it quick. Any minute now, he's gonna figure out I'm shadowing him. That's just rude. You were never gonna catch up, man. Sorry. time you pay all the rent you owe. I just need a little longer, okay? Just one more week. <sighs> Another week? I am done warning you. Yes, I assure you. It better be. Bye for now, then. Oh, that was close.
call me? Kaito-san. He's heading for the Champion District. Oh, great. We're never gonna find him in that maze. Probably why he's going there. Thankfully, we can always follow him from above. Yeah? Wanna break out the pigeon? Just try to head him off, Kaito-san. And be ready. On it. Oh, and try not to get carried away. Can't afford to get that thing fixed again. Yeah, yeah. Just don't lose him. Just ducked into an empty lot, Kaito-san. Dead end. We follow him, we blow our cover. What do you think he's doing in there? Probably meeting someone he doesn't want to be seen with. Makes sense. Pigeon's up. Can you see it? Hold on. There it is. Hold on. I'll send a feed to your phone. Nice flying, Kaito-san. Keep it steady. You been practicing? Now's not a good time, Talk. Gotta concentrate. There's another guy in there with him. So he is meeting someone. Hey, I know that guy. He's a bookie for horse races. Trying to gamble his way to paying off debts, huh? Because that always works. Yeah, well, if they came all the way out here just to meet, he must have the cash on him. Mm hmm? We'll get what we need if we move now. You remember what we're doing here, right? Collecting the debt that detected them. Oh, I get it. This is our chance. Just relax. Let me do my thing, okay? You got it, Talk. Don't fuck it up. Nice night, huh, Detective? 
huh? I hear the bookies in Kamurocho make some pretty good deals. You win 10% more, you lose 10% less. They make it sound so enticing. Maybe I should get in on it. Hey, where are you going? Don't you need your money? What the hell is this? Who are you? I'm here to get my client's money back. Before you lose it on another horse. So they hired a thug to collect. Should I be impressed you found me? A thug? Well, that's not very nice. You and I are in the same business. You're a detective? Afraid so. I hear you're pretty hard to get a hold of. That's why the people you owe came to me. Look, I know you have the money on you. You can't get out of this. Just do us both a favor and pay up. Don't put up a fight. <laughs> well, you're right. I have the money. But look, I'll pay everything back after I win big on this next race. Just wait, okay? Are you serious? I didn't track you down just so you could... Maybe next time! Whoa! Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Kaito-san, he's making a run for it. I saw. Where are you going, little guy? Damn it. Get back here. You need to learn when to quit. Shut up. I have it all figured out. I'll get the money! Didn't you say you were a detective? What's your name? I never said I'd field any questions, asshole. It's Yagami. Take a good look. Now do you believe me? So, let's be civil here. Just hand over the cash, okay? 150 grand sound good? Back the fuck off! You running some kind of racket here? I'll sue you! Oh yeah? Huh? You gonna sue? 
the fuck do you think you are? Huh? Uh, hold on, Kaito-san. The hell? You're not a detective, asshole. You're fucking Yakuza. Oh, yeah? Guess you know what'll happen if you don't pay up then. Hey, ease up, Kaito-san. I'm sure he doesn't want to piss you off anymore. I said all right. Listen here, asshole. I'm gonna sue your ass into the goddamn ground. You see this? You broke my fucking nose. <laughs> Don't be so melodramatic. I think we both know who threw the first punch. No, no way I'm gonna let that slide. Just you watch, you'll see the court's gonna... Huh? But that's... a lawyer's badge. So you're not a detective. And? You still want to sue? You know, you won't know what hit you. Comrocho. No better place for a night out. A neon city. But the brighter the lights, the darker the shadows. The whole town's run by the toughest Yakuza family out there. The Tojo clan. And the deeper you dig, the more interesting things get. More dangerous, too. Take this burglary ring. Just a bunch of kids looking for kicks. Word is, they met on some sketchy website. Never even seen each other's faces. As for the cops, they can't catch a single one. The only thing anyone really cares about in Kamurocho these days, though, is the murders. Over three months, three Kansai Yakuza have turned up dead. 
Most think it's the Tojo clan, making some kind of power move in the ongoing turf war. <clears throat> this one's missing its eyes, too. <clears throat> That's not the only thing, though. All three of them were missing their eyes. It's in one little corner of this city that I run a detective agency. I work alongside my partner, Kaito-san. Funny enough, he's ex-Tojo. And me? I'm Takayuki Yagami. Used to be a lawyer, but I put that life behind me three years ago. As for my badge, it's barely even a decoration at this point. Here, I'll scrounge up the rest for you later. What about your cut? I'll get it eventually. All of this goes to the client. Gotcha. Anyway, I'm gonna swing by Genda Sensei's place, see if he's got any work. Don't hold your breath. For a lawyer's office, things are slow as shit over there. Uh, you're aware they're one of our best clients, right? Yeah, yeah, I know you used to work there and all. But don't show up empty-handed. Here, buy him some sweets or something. At least go through the motions. So generous. My boy's all grown up. Don't mention it, Dad. Now get going. I hear they've got some extra fancy dorayaki at the Popo over on Tenkaichi Street. Even come in a box. Huh? Well... Genda Sensei's got a pretty big sweet tooth, if you get me. Right. I'll go pick some up. Hold on there, pal. You just bought some of them Doriaki, yeah? Sorry. They're mine now. Uh, are they? Look, I've been after one of those things for days now. And you just bought the last fucking box. Can't stand for that, right boys? Wow. I can't argue with that logic. What was that, smartass? Ah! <laughs> 
Have you had enough? Hey! Always getting into trouble. <sighs> Captain Hamura. Talk here doesn't start shit without a real good reason. And that means it was you. You dumbasses jumped the wrong guy. Uh, no. Uh, you know this guy's like a son to the Matsugani patriarch, right? Uh, know what I'm trying to say, asshole? Hey, come on, Cap. Can't we just let it be? No can do. This right here just became a matter of Matsugane family honor. I'm sorry. <laughs> Kengo, you haven't met our buddy Tuck here, have you? He's a guy you want to know. Hot shot detective type. Right. It's good to meet you. The boss paid his way through law school back in the day. Made him into a damn good attorney. Guy even managed to get a bona fide serial killer off the hook. Seriously? Wow, that's incredible. <laughs> right? Damn shame seeing talent like that go to waste. Huh, totally! <laughs> get this, though. The first thing that killer did when he got loose? Stabbed his girlfriend to death. Can you believe that? <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> yep. Guy got the death penalty and everything. They get around to hanging his ass, talk. Not yet, no. Oh, what the hell's taking him so long? Here. This is the money from that detective. The rest is yours. I already took my cut. Good. You're finally getting the hang of this whole debt collecting thing. Yeah, thanks to you. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, how's Kaito? Fine. You mind asking him something? How long's he gonna stick around? Not wise to stay in town after you get kicked out of the family. But, uh, I can look the other way since the boss likes you so much. Speaking of, how's Matsugane-san doing? None of your damn business, I'd say. Come on, let's go. Hey there, sorry san Look, Doriaki. Extra fancy. Genda Law Office, where I used to work. Things haven't changed much these past three years. Hello, Yagami-san. Oh, I didn't see you there. You, uh, getting situated? Yes. Everyone here is just great. So I hear you're good. Pass the bar with top marks and everything. <laughs> How'd you end up in this dump and not in a bigger office, huh? Huh? Well, you see, that's... Uh... I hear you over there, uh... Yagami. Evening, Genda-sensei. Other than my real dad, there's two people I look up to like a father. Genda-sensei's one of those people. He gave me a job here, before I'd even gotten out of law school. Shintani Sensei out for the night? Uh, I can't keep track of that boy. I'm sure you're happy, though. You don't have to deal with him. Huh? 
You two can't stand each other. You hate each other's guts. Be honest with me here. Uh, hold on now. Shintani's like a mentor to me. So, about that job you have. If you really want that job, you're gonna have to get along. So show your senpai a little more respect. Oh, Genda-sensei. I got you some dorayaki. Just sit right there. I'll grab you one. Huh? <clears throat> Sorry? Did you eat them all? All but half. Hope you don't mind. So, what are the chances you've got some work for me, Genda Sensei? Work, huh? How long are you gonna keep doing this to yourself, Yagami? You know how dangerous this city is. Wouldn't be many cases for me if Kamurocho was a safe place. Uh-huh. Cases like collecting debt for the Yakuza? Hey, better that than no work at all, am I right? You call that detective work? You're practically a mercenary. Fine by me. I was never too hung up on being a detective anyway. Listen, Yagami. Yeah? You ever thought about becoming a lawyer again? I haven't. And why is that? Take a good look at me, Genda-sensei. Hmm? These eyes aren't exactly the best judge of character. I think I made that clear three years ago. What use am I as a lawyer if I can't tell good from bad? Knock it off, Yagami. Stop beating yourself up. What happened to Emmy was tragic, yes, but it wasn't your fault. It doesn't matter whose fault it is. I never want to deal with something like that again. So, have any work for me? A guy's gotta stay busy, you know? Keeps me distracted from Emmy chan and all that. It doesn't matter what you've got, just give me something. Uh, how about a divorce case? I have some evidence that needs collecting. It'll be the usual deal. Stake out a love hotel, snap some photos, tail the guy, dig through some trash. You in? I'm in. A job's a job. Uh, I give up. I'll send you the details later. And next time, don't bring a gift, you hear? Doesn't feel right taking them from guys too broke to pay for them. Anything you say. Genta Law Office. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yagami-san, that was Shintani-sensei. Hmm? Apparently, he wants your help gathering evidence for a murder. Huh? Since when are we working a murder case? This is the first I've heard of it, too. Go give Shintani a hand, Yagami. This blows that divorce I was gonna send you on out of the water. Been years since we had a murder case. Shintani-sensei says he's waiting for you at Tender, that bar on Taihei Boulevard. Tender? I'm there all the time. Just making sure. It's called Tender. Got my first job here 20 years back. Masuda-san never changes. 
Running a bar must keep you young. Hey, Tuck. Shintani Sensei's in the back. Great. We've got some business to talk. <laughs> surprised to see me? I'd be more surprised if I didn't. Who's that talk? A detective buddy? Not exactly, Mari. This one's a client. Won't be your client for long if you don't show up on time. You're late. Come on, you called me here totally out of the blue. Chill out, maybe. Huh, and I'm getting a drink. And I'm paying? Let's call it a business expense. Here's a familiar face. Kyohei Hamura, from the Matsugane family. I ran into him earlier, actually. Ticket he's your client? Yep. Got hauled in earlier. They're charging him with murder. Seriously? Seriously. So, the Matsugane Patriarch came to us for his defense. Genda Sensei is the go-to guy for all his legal problems, you know? How'd you end up in the driver's seat then? Genda Sensei gave him my card. Gotta say, not looking forward to defending a Yakuza. Tough luck, I guess. Anyway, you're coming with me to the station. Need to have a word with Hamura. You got way more Yakuza experience than me, after all. I yeah, suppose I do. Let me give you a rundown of the case first. The victim was a Yakuza. A Kansai guy, part of the Kyore clan. They found his body tossed in a dumpster just about a week ago. Hold on. This is... The guy who got his eyes gouged out? Yep. Cops think Hamura is the one who did it. Hell of a case, man. This is the third Yakuza they've found like this. Fortunately, we're not dealing with a triple homicide here. So the media isn't swarming. Hmm? Hammer's got an alibi for the first two incidents. This third murder is the only one they're pinning on him. So they won't admit the cases are connected? No. Makes sense. Three bodies and not a single suspect isn't exactly given the cops credibility. Guess they just want to get this case closed and move on. Even if they have to force it through. And hey, the victim was Yakuza. Nobody really cares who hangs for it. Has Hamura said anything to you? Yeah. He told me he didn't do it. Claimed the cops were falsely accusing him. So he insists he's innocent, huh? Why'd they come after Hamura, of all people? Two reasons. First, the victim was a Kansai Yakuza from a group that's been making inroads in Kamurocho and picking fights with the Tojo clan along the way. Odds are, this was a Tojo guy wanting to send a message. And as you know, Hamura fits the bill. And the other reason? Hamura and the victim were seen having a fight on the day of the crime. I'm guessing there's security camera footage then. I think I know enough. We should get to the station. You go on ahead. We got some calls to make first. Just take a cab there. Will do. Leaving already, Tuck? And only one drink in. What can I say? I'm a busy man. Funny you should say that. Another customer of mine has a job for you. I'll tell you about it when you're not so swamped, okay? Hey, I'm not about to pass up a paying gig. Then come back when you and Shintani Sensei are done. Let's go. 
まで行かれますかそれでは出発いたします。We just keep running into each other tonight, eh, hey, Doc? Why the long face? Hammer-san. Ah,、uh, I'm Shintani from the Genda Law Office. The Matsugane family asked us to represent you. Then I'm glad you said yes, Shintani-sensei. We're gonna get along real good. Just like my boss and Genda-sensei. Uh, right. Well, let's get started. I'll be taking point, while Yagami here will be doing the legwork to try and back up your claims. No better guy to do it. I'll do what I can. So, they brought you in under suspicion of murder. Can you tell me more about that? Huh? What do you want to know? Whether or not you killed the guy. Does it really matter? Your job's getting me out of this mess, regardless of the truth. No. Because if I find out you actually did it. You'll drop me? Better. I'll make sure the prosecution puts you away for life. This is bullshit! Just like you did that serial killer, huh? Uh, Yagami? All the evidence at the time pointed to Shinpei Okubo being innocent. That's why I chose to trust him. But then, that Okubo guy. Well, he proved us all wrong. Murdered his girlfriend in cold blood. Come on, Tuck. Let's be honest about what you were really focused on at the time. You wanted that precious acquittal so bad you didn't even stop to think you were setting a murderer loose, right? What happened to innocent until proven guilty? Try saying that to Emi Terasawa's parents. That's why you quit, right? You couldn't face him. <clears throat> you think、um, we could maybe get back to the case? Sure. Why not? You good to go? I'm fine. Keep going. My apologies. Now, <clears throat> let's start with the victim. Toshiro Kume, 34 at his time of death. A member of the Kansai based Kyori clan. Around 6 a.m. on the 4th of December, the police got a 110 call from someone who found his corpse in a pile of garbage. I hear you and this Kume had some kind of argument before he died. Yep. Did the police say what evidence points to you being the killer? Do they have anything substantial? Nope. Bastards are keeping their lips sealed. Ain't that right, Shintani sensei? Yes. At this point in the investigation, the cops won't tell me what they've got against you. Your words are the only thing we'll have till the trial. <laughs> is what it is. Anything else you want to ask, Yagami? What do we have on the victim? Toshiro Kume, 34. Run of the mill Kyori grunt. Was Kume alone when you ran into him? Hard to believe he'd take that kind of risk in hostile territory. It was him and one more. Probably another Kyori asshole. Don't know his name, though. So there were two of them, and how many of you? I'd say there was probably five, including me. You have an alibi? What time did they think Kume died? <sighs> Apparently, between two and three in the morning. The cops were drilling me real hard about where I was around then. And? Where were you? At a sauna. A spot called Sauna Goten. Spent the night getting a steam. But there's no proof you were actually there, huh? Well, otherwise, you wouldn't be in here. Pretty much. Someone should have seen something, though. Where did you and Kume have your fight? 
out in front of a club, Amor, over on Supon Street. Me and a few Matsugani boys had a little run-in with a Kiori guy. Turns out that was your boy, Kume. And who started the fight? Who do you think? I'm not gonna let some Kansai punk strut around like he owns the place. I'd already thrown a few drinks back at that point, too. What time did this all go down? Just past nine. So what happened after you and Kume had your standoff? Went your separate ways? Nah, he tried to split, but I had my boys grab him. Dragged him into a moor. What? I... I thought it was just a little scuffle, though. You're saying you abducted Kume on a crowded public street? Yep, Amor is one of the family businesses. So I went in, kicked the customers out, and kicked the crap out of Kume. But I'm telling you, I didn't kill the guy. Just tossed him out the back door when I was done with him. I left right after, too. A few minutes before midnight. Uh-huh. So you were seen dragging Kume into the club, and he was found in the morning with his eyes gouged out. <laughs> I'd arrest you too if I was a cop. I think I've heard enough for now. We'll get going then. Yagami, head over to Sonico 10 for me. See if Hammer's alibi holds water. All right. If we can prove he was there, we won't even have to go to trial. I'll give you a ring tomorrow for the report. Later. guys. Excuse me, you work here? Yeah. Come on in, friend. Actually, I'm not a customer. Mind if I ask you a few questions? Sure, what do you need? I'm here about a murder. A Yakuza who had his eyes gouged out. Oh, a detective came by for the same thing. Wanted to know if their suspect was with us the night of the incident. And you are... a reporter? Something like that, yeah. And this is Hamura, captain of the Matsugane family. Did he come in on the night of the crime? I'll tell you the same thing I told the cops. I make it a point not to remember anyone specific, you know? You get a lot of customers in and out, huh? Up to the last train, at least. From there, it's only in till morning. You know how it is. People drop in, wait for the trains to start up again. Same as any other night. Interesting. So everyone who comes in stays till morning, huh? And as long as I can prove Hummer was here, we'll have our alibi. Oh yeah, the cops mentioned something kind of similar. You guys don't have a security camera? Something we could check, see who was here? We do, but it deletes all its footage every three days. Privacy and all. It was already long gone by the time the cops came around. Got it. 
Thanks. Sorry to bother you. Hey, you're out here pretty often, right? Did you see a Yakuza head into Sonic 010 the night of December 3rd? Um, why would I know that? You're crazy, mister. Hey, you have a sec? I'm looking for info on a Yakuza who went to Sonic 010 on the night of December 3rd. <sighs> you seriously expect me to remember something from that long ago? I'm trying to work here. Get lost! Hey, you have a sec? I'm looking for info on a Yakuza who went to Sonic 010 on the night of December 3rd. Nobody pays attention to me. So I'm not going to pay attention to them. Excuse me. I'm looking for info on a Yakuza who stopped by Sonic 010 on the night of December 3rd. Did you see anything? This is the guy. Name's Hamura. I can't say I know him. There's tons of Yakuza around here. Though, now that you mention it, I remember something about a host getting smacked in the face that night. By a Yakuza? Yep. Don't think he got hurt too bad, though. Pretty sure it happened right around midnight. All this on the night of the incident. But when I went to check things out, the Yakuza was long gone. The host was just standing there shouting. That help at all? Hmm. Uh, any idea who the host was? Nah. I mean, they all kind of have that pretty boy look. Doubt I'd be able to recognize him if he was standing right in front of me. Does anyone else know about this? I don't know. Thanks for your help. Still here? I thought you'd have left hours ago. I was gonna, but I realized all I'd do at home is pass out. Did go for a drink, though. Oh, now you're having another. You know that bottle's mine. <laughs> well, Genda Sensei give you any work? Yep, probably thanks to the Doriaki. He wants me to scrounge up some evidence for a murder trial. You got this from Genda? I thought it was all about civil suits now. Criminals don't pay the bills, right? Well, this one comes straight from Matsugane-san. Turns out, Hamura went and got himself arrested. What the hell? For one of those Kyore clan murders. You mean that eye-gouging shit? Mm-hmm. I just dropped by the jail to see him. He claims he's innocent, though. Huh. Crazy. Not interested? I can't say I blame you after what Hamra did. Booting you from the family was a low blow. If you want, I'll handle it solo. Look, don't worry about it. I'm the one who fucked up, not him. Either way, we've got the case. Count me in. <laughs> Good. What's up, Shintani? Morning, sunshine. I'm on Nakamichi Street. Yeah, and? You know Majori? Little cafe, killer coffee. Come here. Another impromptu meeting? 
Don't whine. I thought you liked keeping busy. Hey, over here. Take a seat. Right. Anyway, I asked around near Sauna Go 10. Couldn't get anyone to back up Hamuro's alibi, though. All right. Good work. So, what'd you call me out here for? Something came up. Take a look at this. Cops released it to the media. It's the camera footage from Amor. Hamura and Kume are both in here, clear as day. Damn, didn't realize the cops had their hands on this. This could be pretty bad. Ready? I'm gonna play it. Kume's the poor bastard getting dragged into the club. Explains why Kumi's buddy there is running for his life. Yep. Got a name, too. Akira Murase. Another Kyori thug. Word is, he hasn't left Kamurocho after getting interrogated by the cops. By the look of things, there must be a Kyori hideout nearby. Crazy how clear it all is. Hamura can't just talk his way out of this. Yep. And there's more. Take a look at this. One hour later, everyone leaves, except for Hamura and Kume. Even the owner hightails it. Wait, why would they stick around? Who knows? Our pal Hamura never mentioned this part. Now, this happened around 10 p.m., meaning there was another four hours before Kume's suspected time of death. The question is, what were the two of them doing all that time? Hamura said he threw Kume out of the club around midnight. After that, he left the club himself and went to the sauna. Right. But I want to hear how it all went down from a different angle. That's where you come in, Yagami. You gotta talk to the guy in charge of Amor. Back up a second. Huh? You're the lawyer here. I get that. You decide what kind of investigation we need for the trial. But don't tell me how to do my job. Yeah, but aren't you gonna talk to him either way? All the same, I'd appreciate it if you'd stop barking orders at me. something? Actually, I was wondering if you have a minute to talk. About? About December 3rd. Oh, I had that day off, man. If anyone's gonna know, it's our manager. He doesn't come in till nighttime, though. The manager, huh? 
This him? Oh, it is. What's his name? Aragaki. Think you could get in touch with him for me? We need to have a chat. I could try. Hold on. I knew this was gonna happen. He never has his phone on during the day. He usually hangs out near here, though. You mean in Kamurocho? Yep, usually. All right, I'll go take a look around. If you don't mind me asking, how? You're just gonna walk the whole city? No, I have a plan. Someone I can use to help me find him. With the name and photo, it shouldn't be much of a problem. Ah, if you say so, man. Good luck. <laughs> Thanks for the help. choice. Somehow I knew I'd find you here. Ah, oh, Yagamishi. You here to join this raid I'm about to get going? <laughs> Probably not, huh? What can I do for you? Got something I need a guy like you for, Tsukumo. This is Makoto Tsukumo. He's... well, he's a character. Tsukumo makes a living digging up dirt on the internet. A modern-day informant, if you will. More detective work, I assume? What's the mark this time? A lost cat? Someone go missing? I'm looking for someone. The owner of Club Amour, a man named Aragaki. He's probably somewhere nearby, but I don't have time to scour all of Kamurocho either. <laughs> you got that right. Searching on foots for cavemen. Uh, here, can I see your phone for a quick second? My phone? Sure. What do we have here? You already have the Chatter app, Yagamishi. I do? Oh. I guess it came pre-installed. Well, you're in luck. In my hands, this stupid app becomes a powerful way to find people. Really? How? Hold on. I'm busting into their servers now. And there we go. Here, take a look. Go ahead, try searching for something. Maybe a name? That would be Aragaki. Okay, and let's limit the time period while we're at it. Say, today. See? That map will tell you the GPS position of all the relevant chatter posts. Not gonna lie, I had to give myself admin privileges to get that one, though. <laughs> wow. 
Hmm, 128 hits. We're gonna need to narrow down the search. Not sure what else we can put in, though. Didn't you say the name of the club, Yagamishi? Some crazy French word? Oh yeah, it's Club Amour. Great, let's try Aragaki and Club Amour. Well, looky there, narrowed it down to one. So Aragaki wrote this, huh? Nope, just someone who saw him. That's still a massive hint, though. See, it got posted only 10 minutes ago, meaning the poster might still be nearby. So, if I were you, I'd get down there and see if you can find out where your man went. I marked the spot on your map, Yagamishi. Hope it comes in handy. Good luck out there. Appreciate it. Oh, try to get out more, okay? <laughs> Why on earth would I do that? Nice try, jerk. Let go. <laughs> nice try, jerk. What a waste. Arigato gozaimasta. Got a second? Sure, I can spare a few of those. What's up? I'm looking for the owner of a club called Amour. Any idea where he is? Actually, yeah. Just saw him. Wasn't in a great mood from the look of it. Must have really lost big time on the pachinko slots. Any idea where he was heading? Yeah, toward Taihei Boulevard. Probably getting sushi, if I had to guess. Sushi? Really? Isn't that a little pricey for a guy who just lost a bunch of money? <laughs> you don't get it. You get sushi after a big loss to cheer yourself up. What's ten more grand if you've already lost fifty or a hundred? Winning's what makes you stingy. Feels like it'd be a waste to blow your earnings on something dumb. Huh. I'd never thought about it. Anyway, thanks a bunch. I'll head over to that sushi joint. See you next time. Hmm? Aragaki-san, the owner of Amur. <laughs> and you are? Yagami from the Yagami Detective Agency. I want to talk about what happened on the night of December 3rd. Oh, yeah? Sorry, not ringing any bells. Come on, you and I both know that's not true. 
Well, it is. I don't know a damn thing. Why don't I jog your memory then? I've got something to show you. Take a look. <sighs> On the night of the crime, you left Amur with these Matsugane goons, leaving Hamura and Kume, the victim, alone in there. You're knee-deep in this. <sighs> Guess I can't argue with that logic. Don't worry. I won't ask for anything too out there. Just a bit of your time. I'm working on Hamura's defense, and I'm hoping you're the silver bullet. Oh yeah? Whatever. I'll talk. Huh. You actually tracked him down. Appreciate the help. Now, what went down around 9 p.m. on the night of December 3rd? Well, uh, Captain Hamura brought that Kansai punk Kume in here. It was out of the blue. Caught me off guard. Were there any other customers here at the time? Just a few. They bailed when Hamura came busting in here. Who wouldn't? I ended up sending the girls home, too. Once everybody was gone, the Matsugane guys just laid into Kume for almost an hour. You uh, didn't hear that from me. You're good. Don't worry. Then right around 10, something kind of weird happened. Hamura kicked everyone out of the club. Even me. And the only ones left inside were Hamura and Kume. <sighs> yep. You know why Hamura kicked everyone out? He... he said Kume reminded him of an old friend. Claimed they needed to have a chat. Alone. At least that's how he worded it. And that didn't seem weird to anyone? Oh, the Matsugane boys had plenty to say about it. <sighs> but if the boss tells you to leave, you get the heck out. <sighs> no clue what went down in the club after that. Tell me about the camera out back. A broken one. <sighs> oh, that? How long's it been like that? For about a month, some drunk asshole chucked a rock. <sighs> Cracked it right open. Yeah, it was just for show, though. Never actually worked in the first place. Not much use to me, then. Did you just sit and watch while the Matsugane tore into Kume? What do you mean? What else could I have done? Called the cops on them, for one. Not like they're especially good for business. Nor is a dead body in your club. Come on. They'd have killed me if I did that. And frankly, it didn't look like they were hurting him too bad. If anything, they were going easy on him. Meaning what? Like just smacking him around a bit. You know, nothing too serious. Once in a while they'd hit him a little harder. To make him bleed, I guess. Well, thanks. This is a huge help. We done here? Kaito, what's up? Hey man, where are you? Just left a club called Amour, over on Supon Street. Amour? Isn't that one of the Matsugane joints? Yep. Hamura and the victim were apparently alone in here the night of the murder. Anyway, need something? Yep. Swing by the office when you're done there. What's up? Uh, it's no rush. You'll see when you get here. Later. Stay down.
Why is she here? How about you ask her yourself, Romeo? Good to see you, Yagami-kun. Don't worry, it's not what you think. And before you ask, she's not here to win your heart again. Win my heart again? Hold on a minute. Let's make one thing clear. We never dated. Guess I misspoke. Don't sue. <clears throat> I'm here on business. That should be obvious. Business? The prosecutor's office is pressing murder charges against Kyohei Hamura of the Matsugane family. You're involved, aren't you, Yagami-kun? Word travels fast. Nothing that happens in Genda's office gets away from me. Saori-san just can't keep a secret, huh? Not with me. We go way back. Since you were kids, right? Yep. Back to Hamura, though. They're already pressing charges? They only just arrested him. Apparently the prosecutor's had his eye on Hamura for a while now. He's just been lying in wait for the perfect moment to strike. And this prosecutor is... Your friend, Izumira. Somehow I knew it'd be him. You haven't seen that guy since the whole not guilty verdict, huh, Talk? Yep. He's probably still sore about it. Too bad Shintani's gonna be the one in charge of the case and not me. You're really never becoming a lawyer again, are you? I don't want to talk about it anymore. Genda Sensei asked me the same question. I see. Does the prosecution have any work for me? I'd be glad to cut you a discount. You know what, Yagami-kun? Hmm? This detective business really doesn't suit you. Couldn't she have just called? Think she went through the trouble for a reason? Maybe you? It's, uh, getting dark out. I should walk her back. For you. Not so fast. Who are you? Chief Prosecutor? And Yagami-kun, what are you doing? Well, I was planning to walk you home. Really? That's so sweet. Well then, I apologize for my forcefulness. Sure. This is Chief Prosecutor Morida. And, um, you already know Prosecutor Izumida. Long time no see, Yagami Sensei. Courtroom just hasn't been the same without you around. Damn near breaks my heart. So you're defending Hamura, huh? Nope, Shintani's handling it. I'm just collecting evidence. Looks like you don't need that walk home, Mafuyu. Later. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. You're not a lawyer anymore. Even after your landmark acquittal. Too bad. I only won because I was up against you. You shut your damn mouth. If it wasn't for your bullshit logic, that murderer would have been behind bars. An innocent girl died because of you. Tell me what was so bullshit about my defense then. Come on, say it. Everything! That's enough, Izumita. It's okay, Izumita-san. Uh, thanks for thinking of me, Yagami-kun. Farewell. Man, has that guy got an aura or what? If I was a chick, I'd be way into that. 
Not now, Kaito-san. My bad, my bad. So, what do we do? About the case? Mafuyu said they're already pressing charges. We should go to Genda's. Let Shintani know what's going on. I want you there too. Got it. See you over there then. What is it now? Look, just, uh, take a breather, huh? Count to ten or something. I'll give you a breather. Ah. いらっしゃいませ。ありがとうございました。いらっしゃいませ。ありがとうございました。
<laughs> nice try, jerk. And stay down. Here you go. Hey, Yagami. The hell were you thinking sending Kaito here by himself? Guy acts like he owns a goddamn place. <laughs> All hail King Kaito. Just sit your ass down, would you? So, we finally have some details from the cops. Murder specifics, forensic results, even their proof that is the one who did it. That's a lot. Let's see it. But first... Hmm? Just don't forget your role in all of this. Especially you, Yagami. At the end of the day, you're just a mercenary. The one who decides how this investigation goes is me. Understand? You got it. It's your show. Now, why don't we look at those documents, Shintani-sensei? That's more like it. First up is the crime scene. Huh. Around 6 a.m., morning of December 4th, police get a call about a body in the alleyway behind a moor. The officer who rushed to the scene confirmed the corpse on arrival. Suspicious. What the? Victim was a Kansai thug. Bottom feeder with the Kyori clan. Toshiro Kume. Body had a few bruises, but the cause of death is pretty obvious. Two puncture wounds, straight through the eyes. The cops think the murderer used something like an ice pick, pierced right into his brain. My eyes hurt just thinking about it. Oh, <sighs> you're telling me. Looks like the murder weapon went through Kume's eyes, then tore him out when the killer took it back. Only natural to think the Tojo was trying to make an example out of him. You know, threaten the Kyore. So even if Hamura didn't do it, it's damn likely that someone from the Tojo clan did. And if we can figure out who it was, Hamura will be off the hook. What? Find the real killer? That's a step too far. Priority number one is proving his alibi. We do that, we're in the clear. The cause of death was severe brain trauma directly through the eye sockets. Weapon must have been long and pointed, like an ice pick. Did they gouge his eyes out to make an example out of him? Or was it something else? Hmm. Hmm. Suspicious. There's pretty much no blood anywhere near the body. Meaning Kume wasn't murdered in that alley. If I had to guess, I'd say he died in a moor. Hey. Night of the crime, an employee from another bar tossed their trash out in this alley. Around 2 a.m. Didn't see anything out of the ordinary, though. In other words, Kume got dumped sometime between 2 and 6 a.m. when the body was found. Hmm. What the? Nothing was found in Kume's pockets. No wallet. No phone, nothing. Bet the murderer broke the phone. Cops tried one of those find my phone things, but came up empty handed. Guess the killer at least tried to cover his tracks.
You take a peek in the alley when you were over at Amor? Doubt there's any traces left at this point, but it's apparently just out the back. Anyway, this is Kume, just before he died. Before the killer took his eyes. Come on, don't say stuff like that. So what's the prosecution's angle on this? Well, try thinking about it in the context of the Tojo Kyori feud. Two other Kyori Yakuza turned up dead before this, each with their eyes gouged out. Not a far leap to assume the Tojo's responsible for all three murders. You follow? Yep, go on. All right, this is how the prosecution thinks it all went down. December 3rd, just around 9 o'clock, right out front of Club Amor. An argument breaks out between Captain Hamura of the Matsugane family and Kume and Murase of the Kyore clan. Hamura and his thugs drag Kume into the club, at which point Murase abandons Kume and flees the scene. Hummer then locks Kume in a moor for around an hour, while he and his boys beat the daylights out of the guy. Around 10 p.m., Hummer kicks everyone out, leaving only himself and Kume in the club. Up to that point, their story matches the camera footage and the testimony we have from the owner of a moor. The prosecution's story continues as follows. Once the two of them were alone, Hamura tortured Kume even more violently. Then, between 2 and 3 a.m., he drove a sharp weapon into Kume's eye, killing him instantly. Once he finished gouging Kume's eyes out, Hamura dumped the body in the alley behind Amor. When questioned, Hamura said, me and Kume left Amor around midnight. I went for a steam right after. But since no evidence can back up that claim, the prosecution doubts its credibility. 6 a.m. on the morning of the 4th, Kume's body was found. And one week later, they arrested Hamura. So they've got three things. The camera footage, the blood stains in the club, and Hamura's Swiss cheese alibi. Any of those alone wouldn't be enough to get a conviction. But with all three, the prosecution thinks they've got this case in the bag. End of the day, to them, it's just Yakuza offing Yakuza. Makes sense they'd see it that way. I'm more interested in what you think, though. Did Hamura actually kill Kume? I don't know. The guy rubs me the wrong way, yeah. But I'm pretty sure he's innocent. A cunning Yakuza like Hamura wouldn't just offload the corpse in an alley like that. Too sloppy. If he really did it, forget about the eyes. You'd never even find the body. Agreed. That's our Shintani sensei Prickliest guy in town. But damn if he's not a terrific lawyer. With you there. Um... Was that supposed to be a compliment? What? Something wrong? If Hamra didn't do it, the person who did is still out there somewhere. Huh? We've just got to find them if we want to clear Hamra's name. Ha! Huh. You think we've got the manpower for that? Tracking down a criminal like that takes an entire organized front. Best leaving that to the cops, if you ask me. My only job here is defending Hamra. Then what's your next move? Ah, uh, then I need some more info on the victim. Remember Kume's buddy? The one who ran off when the Matsugani boys jumped him. Name's Akira Murase, from the Kyore clan. I want to hear what he has to say. About what? about what he did after he watched Kume get dragged into the club. 
Did he really just abandon his friend? It's hard to believe. Come on, man. Is this the time to go knocking on the Kilray clan's door? Sounds like suicide to me. I bet they're out for blood after what happened to Kume. One way or another, I want that info from Marase. Huh. <laughs> You're the ones who have to figure out how to get it. That's a deal, remember? A deal my ass. Poking a hornet's nest ain't gonna get us anything but stung. <laughs> He's right, though. Come on, Kaito-san. Fine. First things first, we need to find out where the Kilray clan's hiding. They gotta have a base or something. Probably quickest to just go ask Matsugane-san. He's got all the real Tojo clan dirt. Oh, uh, I guess I'll pass. Can't exactly waltz in, being expelled and all. Yeah, I'll take care of this one by myself. I'll call you when I'm done. Here, right this way. The Matsugane are an offshoot of the Tojo clan. Not the biggest Yakuza family on the block. They're a small branch that's low on the tree. But the family's patriarch, Mitsugu Matsugane, is like a father to me. And Kaito-san. Excuse me. Yagami-san's here to pay you a visit. Oh, so good to see you again, my boy. Now then, feels like ages since you last stopped by. I know. I wonder why that is, huh? Could it be that you're the only one who's glad to see me? Well, you have a point there. How's Kaito these days? Staying out of trouble? He's okay. If not for that incident, he'd still be part of the family, you know. Hard to believe it's already been a year. Uh, the both of you are more or less the sons I never had. The past is what it is. True. But I'm glad to hear he's doing well, under your watch. I'm sure Kaito-san will always feel like my Aniki. If not for you, I would have taken another direction in life. Be a very different person, I think. You'd have turned out just fine, my boy. Excuse me. T. So then, one would drag you back to an office where you're not exactly welcome. Hamura is giving me some grief. Is he now? I was under the assumption Gender is handling the issue. Are you helping him out with the case now? Shintani's got me looking for the Kyori clan. I just need to find them, so I can ask him a few things. Not wise, my boy. You do know they're all up in arms right now. Sure you want this? Don't worry. I just want to have a word. Does the name the Kajihira group mean anything to you? No. I can't say that it does. They're a Kansai outfit. It's... they've got a front in the city, the KJ Art office down on Senrio Avenue. Be careful, though. There's Kyori crawling on every floor. These are Tojo clan streets, but that's their turf now. Senrio Avenue. KJ Art, eh? I'll check it out. I know you're busy. Although, you think I could visit your office someday soon? Keep it on the down low? Yeah, of course. Kaito-san, just left the Matsugane office. The Kyore are shacked up in some place called KJ Art. Huh. And that's where we'll find Morase? Not sure. We won't know if we don't check it out ourselves. You're thinking stakeout, huh? 
Sounds like the perfect time to give the drone a whirl. That might be our only choice. Fingers crossed. Anyway, I'll see you over there. Stay down. What's up? It's me. You at KJ Art yet? Looks like it. Where are you? I'm on the opposite roof. Look up. Uh-huh. Hey. I see you. Be up in a sec. You, wouldn't you say? <laughs> Too bad the place is absolutely crawling with Yakuza. Guess this is the Kyore hideout after all. No doubt. And Marase? Couldn't find him. I looked pretty damn hard with the drone, too. You sure it was hard enough? Uh, sure. Come on, let's try again. I'll fly it this time. When you want something done, do it yourself, right? Sure, you ass. Hmm. This here is Marase. Wonder if we can just peek through the windows, see if we can find him. Suspicious. Hey. Hey. Hold up, hold up. That's him. Inside. Let's try and figure out where to. Hmm. Uh huh. Suspicious. There he is. Well fucking done, man.
guy has his own office, huh? He must be important. Think they'd let us meet him? We wouldn't get past the front door. <laughs> Especially if we told him why we're here. We'll need to find another way in if we want to put the squeeze on Marase. Agreed. What are you thinking? Oh, there's a few options on the table. As for the best one... Maybe I could go undercover. Oh yeah? Who asked? I was thinking pizza delivery. You ever seen a pizza guy get invited inside? Right. Forget the pizza. What about some kind of repairman? Now you're talking my language. They've got jumpsuits over at Don Quixote. Still, you can't show up and expect them to just let you stroll on in there. True, huh? I think I've got it. Huh? What would they do if the heater broke? Call a repairman, obviously. Are you suggesting we just wait till it breaks? I don't know. Maybe we could speed things up a bit. Never thought I'd see the day you came up with a plan like that. Who are you? And where'd you bury Tok's body? If I told you, I'd have to kill you. Anyway, I'm gonna make things a little chilly for these KJ guys. You keep watch, okay? Sounds good. Let's do this shit. Am I bad? <clears throat> I suck at this. Almost there. Perfect. いらっしゃいませ。ありがとうございましたおつあっチェックインユゲットグッズいや、あんたがこっちに行くのかなもっと早く、プランが動いている KJR が動いているここにいるのかなパーフェクト、私が行くのに行くあっ。
I'm ready. Get changed then, would you? Okay, okay. Nice. I think this'll work. I know you're in a disguise and all, but don't let your guard down, okay? Try to blend in. Who do you think you're talking to? Hi there. I heard you're having some heater trouble. I'm here to fix it. Yes, it seems to have stopped. Thank you for coming on such short notice. The main unit is just out the door to the left, right around the emergency stairwell. Uh, mind if I take a look at an indoor unit as well? These things can be pretty complicated. Is that really necessary, sir? It'll help me get a better idea of the whole system. I'd rather not bore you with the specifics. Very well then. Sure. There's one in the security office to your left. Thank you very much. I'll have you guys heated up in no time. Suspicious. Hmm. 
just the guy I was looking for. Here to fix the heat, yeah? Got something I need you to check out. Oh, sure. No problem. Come on, this way. <laughs> Freezing my balls off, man. Hope this goes quick. There it is. The power's on and all, but nothing's happening. Okay, let me see what I can do. Yep, yeah, this thing's seen better days. Thanks, Sherlock. Can you fix it? Hey, genius. If you're gonna fix it, don't you need to take the panel off first? Uh, <laughs> <sighs> 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 hey, what's up? Well, ain't that something? Never realized it was that simple. Glad I could be of service. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have other repairs to make. Ah, who are you? Oh, I'm uh, here to repair the heater, sir. Weird. You ain't the usual guy. Where's our man, huh? Never had anyone else come for us. Oh, uh, about that. You know what? I'll just give him another call. See what's up for myself. I'm actually from Comro Maintenance, sir. Have you heard of us? We're small, but, uh, growing? Can't say that I have. Must be new in town. I guess someone else put the call in then. Sorry, sir. I didn't mean to startle you. Nah, it's all right. Makes sense why I wouldn't recognize you. We fix it or your money back, sir. All right. Got it. Let's see. Nice. Perfect.
the fuck were you thinking, dumbass? We warned you this was gonna happen. Please, I'm sorry! I'm so sorry! Just get the hell out of here. Huh? But... Huh? Kaito-san? But I got a call about a broken heater. I told you. We figured it out. All fixed. Nothing to see here. Can I at least check to make sure everything's okay? Oh, and I'll need you to sign this, too. I'm not signing shit. You didn't even fix anything. Now get the hell out of here. Uh, actually, could I borrow your restroom? I'm not feeling so good. Shit yourself for all I care. What? Hey, who the hell are you? Just here to talk, Murase-san. Look, I risked my life to get in here. Just... I don't have to do shit. You can't boss a Yakuza around! What the hell are you after, huh? I already said, I just want to talk. Look at this. This is you running away after abandoning Kume. Who do you think you are? I'm a local detective. Hamura's lawyer is having me look into Kume's murder. So what? You're defending Hamura? You think I'm gonna tell you shit, asshole? 
I thought we already negotiated. You want to go again? You're not getting out of this unscathed, you know. I know your face now. Do you really think Hamura killed Kume? Of course I do. Who else could have done it? That's what I'm trying to find out. I need to know what happened that night. <sighs> it's as clear as day. Hamura gouged Kume's eyes out. End of story. Yeah? Where? How? In the dump behind a moor. Bastard tortured Kume to death. Actually, the murder happened somewhere else. And I have the evidence to prove it. Take a look at this. What the hell? That's Kume. What the? Suspicious. <laughs> Sorry. I'm sure this is tough to look at. But as you can see, there's almost no blood around his body. That means he was killed somewhere else then transported to the alleyway. Oh, I guess so, huh? Mm, doesn't add up, does it? So, you ready to talk now? <sighs> okay, let's take it from the top. Now, after you ran away from Amor, where exactly did you go? You couldn't just let them take Kume, could you? Yeah, I had to do something. So, I went to round up the rest of the clan. We had to take Kume back. But nobody would help, would they? You kidding? Of course they helped. We burst in there ready to bust heads. But I thought nobody else went in or out of Amor. What? You mean, because the camera didn't see anyone? <laughs> Funny thing, that. Turns out you can't get seen if the camera's broken. The back alley was our ticket in. So you really went inside? Yep. Not a soul in the house, though. Trust me, we searched the whole damn joint. And when was that? Just after midnight, I suppose. Right when the prosecution says Hamura was laying into Kume. If you're telling the truth, that's a clear contradiction. Huh. Who gives a shit what the prosecution says? Hamura killed Kume and that's that. Ain't no other way. Maybe so. But the police still need to hear your story. If you could just testify to that... You gotta be kidding me. Why the fuck would I do that, huh? Yeah, it was worth a try. Hmph. <laughs> nice work. So Murase busts into a moor. And who does he find? Absolutely nobody. Yep. Captain Hamura said he kicked Kume out, then hit the sauna right around midnight. The stories match up. You really think he's innocent? Not sure. Our next step is finding proof he was at that sauna. Guess that's that. Well, I'm pooped. How about we call it here for tonight? Yeah, good call. I'll see you tomorrow, Kaito-san. Go, go, go.
Really, guys? Let's see. That'll do it. Hey, you find anything? Sure did. Marase spilled the beans over at the Kyore hideout, a place called KJ Art. And you made it out of there in one piece? Incredible. All in a day's work, Shintani-sensei. So, according to Marase, a moor was empty at midnight on the 3rd. That directly contradicts the prosecution's assertion that Hamuro was beating Kume to death at the time. Well, that's a hell of a find. But is Marase gonna testify? That's not that easy. Uh, it never is. Either way, Marase is telling the truth. I found something that backs his story up. Hmm? This is a moor. Three hours after Hamura took Kume. Midnight. Take a good look at the edge of the screen. We don't see any of them go inside, so I thought nothing of it. But the stories match up. Marase and his guys went to a moor to take Kume back. And they left empty-handed. <sighs> Sounds like we need to talk to Captain Hamura. There are too many unanswered questions. Agreed. I'll set up another visit. Give me a call once you do. Yagami-san, you spoke to Mafio, yes? Huh? Yeah, why do you ask? She seemed happy. It had been a while since she last saw you. Oh, cool? But she looks sad, too. Sad? Wonder why. As do I. See you later. over to the Camarocho police station. Will do. Thanks.
When the fuck am I getting out of here, Tuck? Don't ask me. Shintani Sensei's your lawyer, remember? Hamura-san, I've got something to show you. December 3rd, 11.55 p.m. A Kyori man by the name of Murase comes to a moor to rescue Kume. Not wanting to be seen by the cameras, he goes in through the back. And? Murase said there wasn't a soul in sight. Well, yeah, I'd already hopped over to the sauna. And what did you do with Kume? I already told you I threw him out the back. And before that? Huh? Around 10 o'clock, you kicked everyone else out so you could be alone with Kume. I have testimony to back that up. Why'd you do it, though? What can I say? I guess Kume reminded me of an old friend. I must have been feeling nostalgic. Who knows, though? I was pretty plastered. That's so. Did you need to kick everyone out just for that? Uh, I told you I was drunk. Who knows what I was thinking? Well, you seem to remember other parts clearly, though. Like when you left the club. What are you getting at? For a so-called innocent man with an alibi, your story has an awful lot of holes. Oh, yeah? You wouldn't hide something from us, would you? Of course not. Something like... The true killer's identity? I said I'm not hiding shit! Now get the hell out there and prove my alibi! I was at the sauna all night long! Prove that and I'm in the clear! I need to have a backup plan in case your alibi doesn't pan out. But I can't help you if you're gonna hide things from your lawyer. You're suspected of abducting a rival clan member, gouging his eyes out and dumping him in an alleyway. They'll lock you up and toss the key if we can't win this. Has that thought even crossed your mind? Or are all Yakuza just that fearless in the face of a life sentence? Fear has nothing to do with it. But like hell am I gonna beg you to save me. Then who would you beg? <laughs> None of your business. It's only a matter of time, Hamura. I'll figure out what you're hiding. Hey, Yagami! Yo, sounds like you've been busy. Had a little chat with Hamra. Wasn't real productive. Figures. He's keeping something from us. There might be more to this case than we thought. So what? You telling me we hit a dead end? More or less. I need more to work with. Specifically... Like what Hamura and Kume did after leaving Amor. Eyewitness testimony. We don't have time to scour the city for leads, though. Hey, how much money you got? How much you need? You'll need 30k or so. I've got this friend. A local detective on the force. He'll tell you anything for the right price. Anything? <laughs> anything. Guy's an informant. You want the dirt only cops have access to. He's the guy you hit up. So you're saying he's a dirty cop? Name's Ayabe. He's a regular over at Tender. Really? Yeah. Surprised you'd never run into him there. It's where everyone goes to meet him. Try asking your pal Masuda. Hey, you have a sec? Of course. What do you need? 
I'm looking for a detective. Ayabe. You know him? Sure do. He hasn't been by in a few days, though. Why? Ah, uh, damn. Guess I came at the wrong time. It's okay. I'll let him know you were looking for him. Why don't you have a drink or two in the meantime? First one's on me. What's all this? <laughs> Just buttering you up. Remember when I mentioned someone who had a job for you? Yeah, what of it? Well, turns out they won't have one for you after all. Sorry. Apparently the client was trying to get back at some Yakuza who sucker punched him. And he wanted me to do what? Not sure. <laughs> Doesn't matter now anyway. Why, did he go all vigilante on him? Not exactly. It sounds like the Yakuza ended up behind bars. For killing a man and gouging his eyes out. Huh? Wait a second. Captain Hamura. Surprised? Though, now that you mention it, I remember something about a host getting smacked in the face that night. By a Yakuza? Yep. Don't think he got hurt too bad, though. Pretty sure it happened right around midnight. Anything else you can tell me? Sorry, but that's all I've got. You'll have to ask the guy directly. Who is he? Man by the name of Seiya. He's a host over at Club Stardust on Tenkaiji Street. That's where I'd look. Hey, you have a sec? Depends. What do you need? I'm looking for someone who works here. Think I could talk to Seiya for a sec? Seiya-san, huh? No can do. Not today. Is he off today? Not quite. He's out on a date with a customer. Damn. He could be practically anywhere then. Third day in a row, too. He's got it wrapped around his finger. Yeah, that's great. Any idea when he'll be back? No clue. I doubt he went far, but that's all I've got. All right, cool. Thanks anyway. Yo, Tsukumo. Oh, hey, Yagamishi. What's up? I, uh, I need something. Think you can do another message search for me? Sure, just hit me with the keywords you need. Hmm. Let's go with Stardust and Seiya. Oh, and let's limit the search history to just today. You got it. Give me just a second here. It's working, it's working. <laughs> I'll just push this to your screen. Huh, might have worked too well. Any other keywords you want to narrow this down by? Hmm. Oh, that did the trick. Great. Should be easy to check these out myself. Thanks, Tsukumo. I'm sure you'll find your pretty boy in no time. いらっしゃいませ。ありがとうございました。US。そう、あの、ウェイ。
Excuse me, ma'am. What? I'm looking for a host named Seiya. Works at Stardust. Huh? What do you want with Seiya? Uh, I need to ask him something. I heard he was on a date around here. Did you say date? Who's the bitch he's cheating on me with? Oh, uh, you know what? Never mind. It's fine. It is not fine! What the hell is going on? Oh, uh, look at the time. Gotta run. Excuse me, ma'am. What is it? I'm looking for a host named Seiya. Works at Stardust. Wait, you know Seiya-kun? Is he alright? We were gonna go on a date tonight, but he never showed. I'm kinda worried. Huh? I'd heard he was on a date around here too, but I guess that means it wasn't with you. Uh, better luck next time? Wait, what? Seiya-kun's out with another girl? Sounds like it, but don't... Take it too hard. I'm sure you'll bounce back. Oh, thank goodness he's safe. I thought he'd gotten into an accident or something. I wonder if he's having fun on his date. As long as he's happy, I'm happy. gets here soon. Wait a sec. You mean Seiya, that host from Stardust? Hmm. Who are you? Are you from the club? Uh, no, sorry. I'm just looking for Seiya. I'd ask where he is, but it looks like you know as much as I do. Hey, are you implying my Seiya-kun stood me up? I'm sure he's just taking his time getting ready. Hmm. He'll be here any minute. Uh-huh. Uh, how long have you been waiting, anyway? I... I... <laughs> I shouldn't have asked. Excuse me. Oh, Yagamishi. Did you manage to track down that host of yours? Nope. Struck out on all three leads. Huh. How about giving it another try? Nah, I'm good. I'll figure out some other way. Don't be such a sourpuss, Yagamishi. I bet there have been more posts since earlier. Doubt that's gonna change much. But sure, why not? Let's see what you got. <laughs> Let's start with the same keywords from before. See that? A new hit! <laughs> the landscape of social media changes every second. Apparently they posted it only a minute ago. <laughs> if that's not a hot lead, I don't know what is. Alright, I'll check it out. Thanks for everything, Tsukumo. <laughs> Not a problem. <laughs>
Hey, Seiya, right? From Stardust? Huh? Sorry to butt in. You have a sec? You'll have to excuse me, my chan I won't be long. Hey, is everything okay? Don't worry. It'll all be fine. Mind stepping outside, Yagami-san? Wait. You know who I am? I do. The owner over at Tender told me about you. Thought I'd ask you to do me a favor. You want to get back at a Yakuza who hit you, yeah? Yes. He said you might be able to manage something. A disgraced ex-lawyer who's not afraid to get his hands a little dirty? Sounds like you're pretty well known in Kamurocho. So that's what people say about me? One more thing. This is just a rumor, but uh, I hear you'll do anything for your clients. You even got a murderer off the hook, right? Oh, did I say something wrong? No, it's all right. Anyway, you said Captain Hamra hit you? That's right. When? The night of December 3rd. The day of the murder. You are sure? Yes. Funny enough, I've been hired to look into Hamra's case. This story of yours could be key evidence. That's so? Not sure I want to be the guy who sets him free. I know you two have a history, but I need this. Please. How could I say no to a celebrity like you? It's fine. What time did you run into Hamra? I think around midnight. Out in front of Kyushu Number One Star. Not the busiest place. Kyushu Number One Star? Isn't that near Sana Goten? Yeah, it is. Mind telling me more? Why do he hit you in the first place? <laughs> Wish I knew. The guy reeked of booze, though. I was just walking down the street when I noticed him coming towards me. He was like... mumbling to himself or something. Kinda scary shit. I tried to avoid him, but he just barreled towards me anyway. And how many times did he hit you? Just the once? He left a fucking nasty bruise, though. Knocked one of my fillings clean out, too. A filling, huh? Did you go to the dentist? Huh? Yeah, the next day. Then you'll be in their records. That'll corroborate your testimony. Ah, so that's what you were getting at. Moving on, what did Hamura do after he hit you? He stumbled away into a sauna. That Goten place you mentioned. So just to recap, he hit you around 12, and then headed into sauna Goten. Yes. And as long as I can prove Hamura was here, We'll have our alibi. Oh yeah, the cops mentioned something kinda similar. And can I count on your testimony in court? No problem. It'd be nice to have the great Yagami-san owe me a favor. Maybe Masuda could give me a few freebies too? <laughs> sure. I'll ask him. <laughs> hey! One more thing. Did you see any security cameras around when you ran into Hamura? Video evidence would lock this up for me. Hmm. Couldn't say. I don't usually look for that stuff. Right. Well, thanks anyway. I'll be in touch. Of course. See ya. Negative. But I did track down someone who had a run-in with Hamura. Yeah? Is it good news? His alibi might be more airtight than we thought. You're kidding me. Just around midnight on the day of the crime, this guy Seiya got hit by Hamura, then saw him go to the sauna. It was apparently right by Kyushu Number One Star. If they have a security camera, it would have caught everything. I'm heading to check it out now. Hold up. Isn't that near KJR? Those Kyore guys won't be happy to see you. If I was worried about getting seen, I'd never leave the office. <laughs> Fair enough. Later.
Hey, you! I know you, boy. Marase. What a coincidence. Clear your schedule, because I'm going to take my time with you. Boys! Get this fucker back to the office! I really don't have time for this. You talk! Kaito-san! Stay the fuck out of this! Where are you? Come on! That was pretty sweet, man. Hey, you wanna try helping out? Sure thing. My turn! You two fuckers are going down now! Please tell me you found something. You did, right? I think I did. Check out that camera. We're in the clear if the thing puts Hamra here at midnight. And if it doesn't? Let's... Let's try and stay optimistic. Well, camera. You got good news for us or what? This video shows everything you need to see. My client, Hamarasan, drunkenly attacked this passerby on the night of the murder. Then, after the altercation, that same passerby watched Hamarasan walk into Sana Goten. Nobody came out of the building after that, until the train started in the morning meaning the defendant was accounted for during the hours in question. The defense asserts that this video establishes a clear alibi, which can only be seen as proof of Hamarasan's innocence. To that end, I have a question for the prosecution. Did you have any prior knowledge of this video before the trial began? I assure you that we reviewed all the relevant footage from the sauna. And yet the defendant was nowhere to be found, Counsel. At least so I was told. Meaning, you never actually went to examine the site personally then. Would you say that's correct? Yes. My associates took care of that. Nonetheless, the defense's video is far too blurry to clearly identify either participant. There's no way to tell whether the man in the footage was the defendant or just a random pedestrian. <laughs> Thank you very much. In that case, the defense would like to call a witness to the stand.
Seasan, do you claim you're the person in this video? That someone assaulted you that night? Is that accurate? Yes. It is. Now tell us, this person who assaulted you, are they here in the courtroom? Witness? Is there a problem? I, um... Hmm? I must have... been mistaken. I am the one getting hit in the video. But as to who the other guy was... I can't say. Excuse me. Your Honor, a uh, recess, if you don't mind. What happened in there? I... I, I can't do it. I'm so sorry. But why? You were all ready to go this morning. I... got a phone call earlier. Go on. It said it was from my sister, but there was a strange man on the line. He said his name was... Murase. Told me you know him, Yagami-san. Murase? And he told you not to testify? Yes. He said if I did... If I did, I'd never see my sister again. Got it. What are you doing, Yagami? Calling the police? Kaito-san, it's me. Those KJ art guys took Seiya's sister. I'm heading over there now. Could use a hand. The hell are you doing? We're in the middle of a trial here. A trial doesn't mean shit if you can't protect your witness. Uh... <sighs> Buy me as much time as you can. I'll get Seiya's sister back. I'm the one who dragged you into this. I'll be the one to drag you out. Promise. By time, he says. He knows this is a court, right? Kaito, I'm here. Where are you? I'm right around the corner. Place looks kind of deserted. Blinds down and everything. Are we sure this is where they got her? They're from Kansai, remember? They can't have that many hideouts. Plus... Plus what? I bet there's a reason all the blinds are down. If anything, that makes it more suspicious. I guess you've got a point. Anyways, I'll be up on the roof again. See you soon. can't just barge in. Who knows how many of them are in there? No way I'm getting away with the disguise now, either. Then... I guess we gotta sneak in. That's the only way. <laughs> I had a feeling. I've got a plan. Yeah? Lay it on me. First, I'll make a big scene out front. Then when they're distracted, you sneak in and get the girl. That's your big plan? Pretty good, huh? Uh, sure. How are you gonna do it? You'll see soon enough. Just remember, both our asses are on the line here. I won't forget. So, the girl's in there, yeah? Let's go bring her home. Right. I'll go look for a way in. Let you know when I find one. Oh, 
Kamikaze! Name's Kaito! Ex Matsugane! Bring him out, or I'll burn this shit down! Oh yeah, go on! I dare you! Just stay right there, punk! Gota, this is your chance. On it. Don't die, okay? You really stuck around? You should have bailed when you had the chance. You're pretty fucked now. Dumbass! Who the fuck are you? I said I wanted Morase! You fucking scrubs ain't worth my time! Get Morase! Almost there. Perfect. Nice. That'll do it. You. Where's the girl you took? I don't know nothing, honest. I'm new here. They don't tell me shit! Huh? Well, then you're useless to me. No way to go but up. Almost there. Got it. Die! You're done for, bitch! Almost there. That'll do it.
And stay down. Now, tell me what I want to know, or else. Where's the girl? She's up in the reception room. Got it. Appreciate the honesty. How many of you Kyori guys are there? <laughs> Who knows? Fifty? A hundred? Any way you slice it, you're trapped. No chance you leave here alive. Shut it. What's the code for the reception room? <laughs> like I tell you. I don't have time for your games. Understand? Now I'm gonna ask you again. What's the code to the reception room? <laughs> One... Three, seven, zero. Well, that wasn't so hard. Thanks. Let's see. Perfect. Almost there. Nice. Got it. You're Seiya's sister, right? Don't worry. You're safe now. Yagami! When the hell did you get here? Let the girl go. Right now. What do you mean, let her go? The girl can leave whenever she wants. We don't have her tied up or nothing. I get it. It's all fine if you aren't keeping her captive, right? Just have to make her stay here until the trial's over. You really thought this one through. But that's not gonna work. Huh? Confinement is a crime whether or not your captive is tied up, idiots. Shut your trap! You know, false imprisonment will get you between three months and seven years. Maybe even longer if you hurt the victim. Guess you'll have to take a little dip in an acid bath then. No body, no crime. <laughs> Intimidation too? Tack on another year. You piece of... Come on! Let's make sure this asshole never talks again! Come on. Not so fast, Yagami. Marase-san, hasn't this gone on long enough? You're only gonna make things worse for yourself. Hamura has an alibi. Someone else clearly killed Kume. There's no reason for you to keep Seiya from testifying. But if Hamura didn't murder Kume, who did? I'm not sure, but Hamura might have an idea. 
He must have been working with the real murderer. What? The night of the crime, Kume went into Amor and just disappeared, right? He didn't contact you. Nobody saw him. He didn't even show up on any security footage. The way I see it, Kume never left Amor. In other words, Hamra must have handed him over to the real murderer. While Hamra was at the sauna making an alibi for himself, someone else was murdering Kume and gouging his eyes out. <sighs> it almost makes sense. If Hamra ends up behind bars, I'll never be able to prove that theory. So what? You want to let Hamra walk? Better that than threaten a girl to stop someone from testifying. Besides, I thought you were above shit like this. <laughs> All right, just get out of here. You got guts for a detective. Huh. <laughs> Thanks. Hamura-san is the one punching me in this video. The same man standing here today. I remember now. There's no doubt in my mind. So, you retract your earlier statement? Yes. My apologies. Your Honor, clearly this witness has no credibility. How does the defense respond? I admit, the witness was shaken up before. But I believe that's a perfectly understandable response. This is his first time in court, after all. I have no doubts regarding his credibility. This Stardust establishment. It's a host club, yes? How long have you been employed there? About two years. For that short a time frame, you seem to have an awful lot of trouble with your customers. Huh? I'm not sure what you mean. Several of them have approached you in hopes of marriage, have they not? They come spending huge sums of cash, so you act like you're ready to seal the deal. You say whatever it takes to make them happy in the moment, but your story changes once things start to get real. Five women have filed reports with the Consumer Affairs Bureau, and those are just the ones who have stepped forward. Can we really trust the words of such a manipulative man? With these character traits in mind, I sincerely doubt the credibility of the witness's testimony. And if the witness is indeed lying, the defendant's alibi is invalid. That is all. How does the defense respond? I'd like to continue on the topic of credibility. Mind if I ask you a few questions, prosecutor? Go ahead. First, allow me to fast forward the security footage to just a few days after the crime. Oddly enough, we'll be looking at the exact day the prosecution filed their suit. Mm hmm. Isn't that you, Prosecutor? Uh, yes. And in this footage, you're reenacting the altercation that took place between the defendant and our witness, yes? What? No. Well, that's strange. You stated earlier that you hadn't seen any footage from the camera near the sauna. But then, how would you be able to reenact things exactly as they went down? You also claimed you did not inspect the area yourself. It seems that wasn't the truth. Why are you hiding the truth from us, Prosecutor? You're wrong! As you can see, the original footage isn't exactly clear. I would understand if you had denied that the defendant was the man who punched our witness. But instead, you claimed you hadn't seen the footage at all. If I had to guess, when you first saw the footage, you realized Hamra might have been the other man. At the very least, you couldn't rule out the possibility. So you lied, I would say. <laughs> that, that's not true. Can we be sure that what you say is credible? 
You've already lied outright in a court of law. And unfortunately for you, there's only one person who thinks the defendant is guilty. And that's you, prosecutor. The night Kume got murdered, Hammer was holed up in Sauna Go 10 till morning. The footage from the security camera, Hamra's alibi, Seiya's testimony, it all lined up. With a story that airtight, there's no chance he could have killed Kume. We find the defendant, Kyohei Hamra, innocent. I will now clarify the reasoning behind this decision. Defendant, please be seated. The judge was right. Hamura definitely didn't kill Kume. But he had to have been involved. Meanwhile, the real killer is still out there, hiding in the shadows of Kamurocho. Murdering Yakuza, gouging their eyes out, retreating into his den. So, I've given him a name, the Mole. A lawyer's job is done once he proves the defendant innocent. But me, I'm not a lawyer, not anymore. Meaning my search for the truth only ends when I say it does. My office might be small, but that doesn't mean I don't have a reputation to uphold. In other words, I'll do whatever it takes to bring Hamura and the Mole down. Yagami-san, nice seeing you. Gorgeous day. How's the detective business been treating you lately? Yeah, I knew you'd show up here, Hattori. Listen, I'm not in the mood for your shit today. Ah, but it's my journalistic duty to hear what you have to say. It's not personal, just trying to do my job, okay? I've already seen what your so-called job produces. A fraudulent lawyer lets a murderer walk. Helpless girl suffers the consequences. <laughs> you and I both know. You're the only reason the girl died. You just had to go and set that killer free, didn't you? And the good people who raised her still suffer for it. You can't be coming back now. What would her poor family have to say to that, huh, Yagami-san? No need to worry about that. If you say so. <sighs> See you around, then. The year is 2018. Kamurocho is playing host to Kansai-based Yakuza, who've been turning up dead with their eyes gouged out. Lawyer-turned-detective Takayuki Yagami took on the case, proving the suspect's alibi. But he can't shake the feeling that the true culprit is out there. He gives this anonymous killer a name, Yagami calls him the Mole. Three bodies have turned up in Kamrocho. 
Each of them missing both eyes. Everyone a Kyori man. Kumi is the most recent. And the guy who killed them all was your mole, huh? Yep. Got Kumi hand delivered to him by Hamura. But Hamura kept that hidden, and ended up getting off scot-free. In turn, making us look like fools. I'm not about to let him get away with this. Agreed. We gotta go all out if we wanna win. Too bad the pay sucks. Don't hate, man. I don't get it. Why would the captain want to protect the mole anyways? He could have gotten life in the slammer if things went south. Hard to say with what we know now. First things first. We need to figure out who the Mole is. That's why we're here, remember? The Mole's first victim was found right in this very alley. Mm-hmm. Happened back in August. Kenkichi Mashiba. A Kyore guy, 27. Pretty small time. Even lower rank than Kume. Body got reported in the morning. Eyes gouged clean out of his skull. Where exactly did they find him? What sort of position was he in? Not sure. Cops don't really publish those kinds of details. Well, guess we'll have to do one better then. Hold up a sec. The cops already did their whole song and dance searching for the mole. But they couldn't turn up a damn thing. Why do you think we can do any better? Doesn't matter whether or not we can do better. We have to. Hamra made us look like fools, and I'm not about to stand for that. Right. Anyways, the next victim was in, uh, October. Found in an alley off Tenkaichi Street. Shall we head over? I'm actually gonna head over alone, if you don't mind. Think you can get in touch with that informant in the meantime? Huh? Why I obey? Didn't you say something about him selling police info? If he's got info on the mole, we need it. Yep, I can ask. Thanks.
Hey, what's up? What? Get back here! Hold it! Stop! Wait, wrong guy! Okay, let's go. Getting any thanks for that. Here, you earned this back. You, I own it. Look, it wasn't a perfect plan, but it worked out in the end, didn't it? So thanks. Is that what you call that? And I don't want your thanks, asshole. <laughs> okay. See ya.
Excuse me. Hmm? This is Yagami. Hmm. Yagami-san. Hmm. Excuse me. Ah? Yagami-san. Hmm. Really, guys? Cat dragged in. Afternoon. Did I keep you waiting or something? No. We were just talking about you, actually. Do you have a minute, Yagami-san? Of course. Especially if you've got a job for me. <laughs> You're always so eager to work. A great fighter, too. You ever take lessons? I did back when I was a kid, yeah. The rest has been more of a learn-by-doing thing. I like to think of it as Kamurocho style. Because you trained yourself on the streets? Man, what a life. I bet you've got some crazy stories. Um, Yagami-san. What's up? Actually, I do have some work for you. Yeah? What kind? Here, take a look at what I've got. I'll send the details to your office. Put them up on your board or something. Sounds good. Thanks, Sari-san. Yagami, you still sniffing around that Kume case? Yeah, that's not a problem, is it? Not a problem, per se. But the case is closed. I can't keep paying you to investigate. Fine by me. It's a personal matter now. Even so... You're convinced Hamura's covering for the killer, right? You know he'll be none too happy if he finds out you're still on the case. He brought this on himself, if you ask me. Speaking of, have you seen him since the trial? No, but he and Shintani keep in touch. They're practically drinking buddies these days. Really? Come on in, Hattori-san. Small, but it's home. Oh, I know all about this place. Right, Yagami-san? Oh, sorry. I forgot. Shintani had an interview today. 
Just pretend Yagami isn't here, yeah? Wouldn't want your readers thinking he had a hand in getting Hamura's acquittal. Oh, don't worry about that, Shintani-sensei. That courtroom was yours, and yours alone. I should go. Looks like I'm the third wheel here. Without a photo, Yagami-san? For as much as you did on the case? Let me just get one of you in Shintani-sensei, huh? Tea, sir? What a treat. That would be great, Shirosaki-sensei. Excuse me. Hi.
どうも変だな
Kim-san? Oh! Oh! Yakami-san! You look kind of rattled, man. Don't try to get away, bitch! Crap! They are here! Sorry, got to run! Ah! Not if we can help it. Who the hell are you? Finally caught him, huh? Good work. Kasai-san! Drop it already, you guys! I will never give her to you! Come on, man! It's damn disgraceful making a babe like her work at a Yakiniku joint! That has nothing to do with you! Listen, Kim-san. You might not know this, being a foreigner and all, but we got a saying here. A hot girl is a terrible thing to waste. What? Yeah, that's not exactly how it goes. Yeah? <laughs> All this over a girl, huh? Doesn't reflect too well on you. Though in this case, it looks like that reflection's actually kinda accurate. Mind your fucking business! Who do you think you are? A friend of Kim's. Someone who's not gonna just stand by and let you beat him to a pulp. Yeah, give me some! All right, buddy. I don't wanna do this. But you were asking for it. Picking a fight with the Kenta Kasai of the Kahin Gang. Let's see how smart you really are, Mr. Know-It-All. He's tougher than he looks. Know it all, son of a bitch! Now get lost. And I better not catch you near Kim-san again. I'm not going down that quiet. You're gonna regret making an enemy out of the Kahin! And don't come back! That's what you say when you win, dumbass. Nobody asked you! You okay, Kim-san? <laughs> Thanks for the help, Yagami-san. We should probably get out of here before they come back. Yeah, good call.
I'm so sorry about this, Yakami-san. Yeah, I, I never meant to drag you into my mess. That guy mentioned the Kahin gang. What's their deal? Oh, it's a group of thugs that have been running wild recently. They have the whole town in a tizzy. <laughs> Not even the Yakuza know how to deal with them. Huh. Must really be something, then. Oh, you got that right. They're a thorn in the city's side. One of the leaders, that Pankasai, won't stop coming for one of my employees. Oh, I don't want to think about what he wants with her. Ooh. So you were just looking out for your worker? But of course! I am her boss! But Yakami-san, you really should not have gotten involved. Now, they were out for your head, too. Don't worry. I'll be just fine. Well, okay. Well, now... I will be here if you need anything.
願いしますYo, welcome. Yo, pull up a chair, Tuck. Ayabe said he'd meet us here, but I don't know what his deal is. This is pretty out of the way. Maybe he's just trying to play it safe since we're new clients. Yeah, maybe you're right. Ayabe is sure taking his time getting here. Should we ask that guy? I wouldn't. Who knows if he's one of Ayabe's boys? True, but... Look, Ayabe's a dirty cop. The last thing he wants is his cover blown. We won't get a peep from him if that happens. Got it? Sure, sure. Hmm? Hey, someone's coming. Welcome. Pick a rod, I guess. Yo, gotten any bites today? Not even a nibble. And you're scaring them off. Get lost. Come on. Don't be like that. You're here for Aya, babe, right? <laughs> Who's that? Don't play dumb with me. It's not gonna end well for you. You got it all wrong. Just fishing. Right. We ain't your boys. We look like the type to hang out with cops. Huh. Who said anything about him being a cop? Oh, well, I... Oh, fuck. So you do know him. I fucking called it! These assholes baited me! That one was all you. So what do you want with Ayabe? Tell me, or else. Yeah, I'm real scared. Look, we don't want trouble. Just step off and we won't hurt you. You got balls, don't you? I'm gonna serve them to you! Done? Or do you want some more? <sighs> Doesn't sound like they do. <laughs> All right. You boys are in. You what? Ibe sounds careful dealing with new people. He's selling police info after all. Gotta make sure his partners can keep a secret. And these guys? Working for Ayabe, son. <laughs> Ayabe knows me, though. Doesn't he? You're Kaito, son, yeah? The <laughs> boss told me about you. You're <laughs> dumber than I thought. Dumb! Look here, asshole! Right, not now, Kaito. As for you, where's Ayabe? Behind the counter. Come take a look.
What the? You're looking at the entrance to Lamont, the best kept casino in all of Kamurocho. Lamont? French for lover. You know what they say. There's an amazing lover behind every coy bride. <laughs> well, aren't you guys international? Go down and have fun. Ayabe-san will be here soon. Here, these are on the house. So the stupid pawn was just a front? Wow. <laughs> Fine by me. Well, want to see what they've got to offer? May as well put those chips to use. Playtime's over, Talk. Come on, Ayabe's waiting. Good to see you, Kaito-san. I take it you're Yagami-san. Or would Yagami-sensei be more appropriate? <laughs> Whatever works for you. Sorry about that whole test thing. Name's Ayabe. Kamurocho Organized Crime Division. Pleasure. So, how you liking the casino? Pretty swanky, huh? Why? You the owner or something? Not quite. I do my part to keep it hidden, though. Cut a deal with the Tojo, too. Barely pay a lick of protection money now. I guess I do practically run the place. And you never invited me? I'm hurt. Sorry, I can't give you the VIP treatment when all you buy is the dirt off my shoes. Alright, let's cut to the chase, shall we? You know those Cure murder cases? They're all managed by my boss. Guy named Kuroiwa. He's the one who brought your captain in. But, thanks to you, Hamura walked, and now Kuroiwa's got egg on his face. <laughs> Felt good, let me tell you. I'm a fan of your work. So here, the first one's on the house. Guess we got Kuroiwa to thank for this. Now, I pulled together reports on all the cases so far. Three in total, including the trial the other day. 
Not so fast. You're on the hook if this shit gets out. Oh, pretty scary. And what happens if it does? You're dead. <sighs> Figured as much. <laughs> Protect that with your life, huh? Will do. Can you tell me more about this Kuroiwa guy? He's the darling of the Camaro police station. Strong, popular, and always gets his mark. They've got him fast-tracked for promotion. And you don't like him, why? Guy's too damn perfect! Think it's any fun working with a perfectionist? Not to mention, he's a handsome devil. Envy's what makes a man ugly, friend. Especially, uh, coming from a dirty cop. I don't know. I think it's kind of refreshing. <laughs> Glad you see it my way, Yagami-san. Here, look at this asshole. Yeah, handsome. <laughs> right. He knows who you are, by the way. After all, you're the guy who got Hamura acquitted. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, don't open that here, okay? I'll keep it shut tight till I'm back in my office. That work? I'm usually hanging around Tender. Swing by there if you need anything else. Got it. Glad that's over with. I'm gonna play a few hands while I'm here. You staying, or...? I'll think about it. Righto. See you around. What was that about? Were they going after this?
glad one of us is earning its pay. How are those docks from Ayabe looking? Not bad. How things go at the casino? I want a mill or so. A mill? I'd have kept going, but that seemed like a good round number. Oh, good. Guess I don't need to pay you this month. Hey, I ain't a charity. Anyway, anything good in there? Not yet. Cops only got as far as arresting Hamra. Well, according to this, that was the only lead they had. They're as stumped as we are. Huh. No wonder Ayabe was practically giving that shit away. There is something in here about the second murder, though. Apparently, they had been tracking the victim, Kunimura, right up until his death. I take it that's Kunimura? Yeah. Two hours before his death, he was seen leaving a brothel called Konban Wife. Kind of place where the girls pretend they're married. Sounds like he was there for a Kanai-chan. <laughs> At least the guy had some fun before he went out. Hell, that's how I want to go. I'm gonna go talk to this Kanai-chan. See if she knows anything about Kunimura. With any luck, I might even get a lead on the mole. Come on, man. Leave the sexy shit to me. You're too young to handle a married woman anyway. <laughs> you do realize I'm just gonna talk to her, right? You're seriously not letting me take point on this one? What if I tell Mafuyu Chan? Go ahead. No skin off my back. Welcome, sir. Any requests tonight? Huh? Oh! Yuna-chan, Marin-chan, and Kanai-chan are all free tonight. Here's their pictures. It's a thousand extra to make specific requests. So I don't have to pick any of them. I see. Is this your first time here, sir? Why don't we start by picking a duration? Duration? And any options you'd like. Uh, options? Right. Uh, let's start at the top, huh? For durations, we have 35 minutes for 9,000 yen, 50 minutes for 13,000 yen, or 65 minutes for 17,000 yen. Let's do 35 minutes? That will work. Though I'd truthfully suggest staying a little longer, especially for a first-timer like yourself. Uh, interesting. <laughs> Ultimately, it's your choice, though. Don't worry. There's no wrong answer. Did you have a specific girl in mind? At the moment, we have Yuna-chan, Marin-chan, and Kanai-chan. I'll go with Kanai-chan. A fine choice, sir. Something wrong, sir? You wanted Kanai-chan, yes? Yep. Kanai-chan it is. Great. Next, you can pick any options you'd like to add. There's quite a few. You can discuss those directly with the girl. What kind of options are we talking? Oh, all kinds. Although not every girl is open to everything, you know. All you need to know about Kanai-chan is she doesn't do blindfolds. Bl blindfolds Yes, sir. She had a bad experience with them when she was younger. Sorry to hear that. Guess there have been all those murders lately, too. Yes, well, you came here to forget all of that, yes? Anyway, let me show you to your room. Right this way, sir. <clears throat> K 
come in. Expensive tastes. Sort of out of your price range, huh? Why are you even here? What's going on? Maybe I should be asking you the same question, yeah? <laughs> Not that I need to. Why are you still looking into the Curie murders, talk? Keep your eyes to yourself, lest you want to lose them. Are we clear? <laughs> you don't get to decide what I do. Don't go digging up dirt. Shintani went through a lot of work making those charges go away. <laughs> you want to keep playing detective? You ought to work out more. Well, I... got jumped earlier by four assholes wearing ski masks. Yeah? And why should I care? Well, I think... maybe you had something to do with it. I'm pretty sure that's the four of them right there. Huh. I think you must have my boys confused. Right, Kengo? Yeah. No one likes a fucking liar! Oh! <laughs> Kanai-chan quit, packed her bags, and went back home. So stop looking for her. Why? I'm gonna let you off with a yellow card this time. <laughs> but only because the boss likes you so much. Yagami. You got a sec? Sure. Are you okay? You don't sound too good. I could use a hand with uh, the family captain. I'd really appreciate it if you could get him off my case. I see. Well, uh, I'm just killing time at the office right now. Why don't you come on by? We'll talk. Sounds good. again. Take a seat. <sighs> Forgive me if this is rude, but I'll cut right to the chase, my boy. Hmm? I don't know what's going on between you and Hamura, 
But there's nothing I can do to help. What do you mean? You're not even gonna hear my side of the story? You'd just be wasting your time. Hammer has been bankrolling the family for a while now. I get by on the scraps he leaves me. I'm... I'm just a figurehead. But... The clan will do the things I ask of them, yes. But if they had to choose between my orders and Hamara's, who knows? Maybe they would choose not to hear me. How long has it been like this? Years. The prime of my career was... Well, it ended back when I was raising you. Matsugane-san. If only Kaito was still in the family, maybe things wouldn't have turned out like this. We're not done here. Actually, we are. I have a message from Captain Hamura, Yagami-san. He says to go see him right away. He's waiting for you at Cafe Alps. He wants to talk. Fine. I'll head over when I feel like it. Don't piss him off, Yagami-san. Unless you want to lose your eyes, too. Welcome, sir. Please, take a seat wherever you'd like. try to pull that. Running off and telling an adult. Like a fucking child. Oh, I just thought that the guy who actually runs the show would want to be able to keep tabs on his captain. He doesn't need to. So you keep your goddamn nose out of this shit. Understand? Or do I need to spell it out? Yeah. I'm hearing you loud and clear. So... I guess we're done here. We're not done until I say so. don't really work on you, do they, Talk? Well, I guess you always have been a fighter. None of us thought you'd last a day in law school. But you sure showed us. Went to night classes, passed the bar. You say you're done, but a guy with balls like you doesn't give up. 
You fought for your lawyer's badge, but trash with a badge is still trash. And it's about time to take you out. Ozaki. Ready to die? Huh? Oh, enough of this. You're dead! <sighs> this is some bullshit. You already went. Huh? It's only fair I take my turn. about the eyes? One bullet in each. Man the fuck up, Kengo! Who the hell? No way. We gotta go. This way! Get 
Get them both! Let's go! Watch it out! You don't give up, do you? Whoa, almost, man. Over here. Damn it. Let me borrow this real quick. Oh. Ooh. You don't give up, do you? Damn it. They finally give up? Not yet. Out with it. Just who are you? I'd appreciate it. Thank you, first. Why should I? After what you did to me this afternoon? I gave your phone back, didn't I? Then why even take it? What was the point of it? I was trying to get away from a cop. Asshole just wouldn't get off my case. But when I saw you on the phone, I had the greatest idea. Okay, go on. Well, I guess the first step was taking your phone. I knew you'd end up following me after that. Then, seeing you and me running in the same direction, the cop would think you were my buddy. And while he took his sweet time arresting you, I was gonna escape. I have to say, never thought you'd actually get away from him too, though. Eh. Guess all's well that ends well, yeah? And just now? Why'd you come save me? Good question. Why did I do it? Eh, beats me. <laughs> Interesting stuff. 
let's just say I wanted to apologize for stealing your phone. Lucky break, huh? You'd have got your brains blown out if it wasn't for me. You're telling me. Guess I owe you. In which case, we're even now. Hey. Why are you so dead set on this burglary ring? There's gotta be something better. <laughs> what? If you're looking for work, maybe you could join us instead. <sighs> and have the Yakuza out for my head? <sighs> Fat chance. Those guys from before were Matsugane family. But, uh, the Kyori's also looking for me. <laughs> you sure know how to sell it. <laughs> but... I don't think we can trust each other just yet. Yagami-san? What'd you say? How do you know my name? 